Buongiorno. Over the next two videos, we'll learn about these 12 rules of Boolean algebra. This video will focus on the relatively simple rules 1 through 9, and next video will cover rules 10 through 12. Note that these rule numbers are arbitrary. I just use those numbers to help with discussions. The associative, commutative, and distributive laws we saw last videos were identical to what you find in standard algebra, but the rules you see on this page are unique to two-term Boolean algebra. Keep in mind that any variable's value can only be a true or false. All of the rules and laws will be useful to help simplify complicated logic equations. I recommend printing out the Boolean algebra rule sheet available on Canvas as a quick reference guide. But now let's turn the page and look at those rules in more detail. Rule number one shows that a or zero equals a. We can see this proved in the gate examples below. These two examples show every possible case. That's the beauty of two-term Boolean algebra. If a happens to equal 1, then we OR it with 0, and the result is 1. If a happens to equal 0, then we OR it with 0, the result is 0. In either case, whatever a is equal to becomes the final output. Note that in some other equation, the literal won't necessarily be called a. If it is called b, the same rule applies. If it is called q prime, the same rule applies. That is why it's so important to interpret these rules in a general sense, like these words indicate. Any literal ORed with zero produces itself. Rule two shows that any literal ORed with one produces one. In other words, the literal does not matter here. Because an OR gate outputs true if at least one input is true, the starting one guarantees a true output. Again, you can see this demonstrated with these two examples. Rule 3 says that any literal ANDed with 0 produces 0. Again, we find that the literal does not matter. One false input guarantees that the AND gate produces a false output. Rule 4 tells us that any literal ANDed with 1 produces itself. This is proved in these two examples. Note that I carefully place these rules for ease of comparison. You can see the difference in behavior between AND and OR logic when combining a literal with a fixed 1 or 0. Another thing to be aware of is our tendency to interpret logic operations as arithmetic operations. In fact, in three of these cases, the rules you see would be correctly interpreted in either system. For example, A AND 0 equals 0. Also, a times 0 equals 0. But rule 2 down here would not work in arithmetic. Any number plus 1 does not necessarily equal 1. Use this as a reminder that logic and arithmetic are not the same thing. Now for the next set of rules. Each one on this page will show a literal combined with itself or its complement. First up is rule 5, which says that any literal ORed with itself produces itself. If a equals 1, then 1 OR 1 equals 1. If a equals 0, then 0 OR 0 equals 0. Rule 6 includes a complement. It says that any literal ORed with its complement produces 1. Notice that when the inputs are complements of each other, we are guaranteed to have a false ORed with a true, and that always makes true. Rule 7 is just like Rule 5, but for the AND operation. Any literal ANDed with itself produces itself. This is plain to see in the examples. And for Rule 8, its setup is similar to Rule 6, but the results are just the opposite. Any literal ANDed with its complement produces zero. When the inputs are complements of each other, we are guaranteed to have a false ANDed with a true, and that always makes false. Finally, Rule 9 is the only rule I did not make a separate slide for. Its logic is straightforward enough to read from the table. If you take a literal and complement it, then complement it again, 
you end up back at the original literal. You might think of this as two wrongs make a right. Any time you see a double prime symbol, you can just get rid of both of them. That's all for the more basic rules. We'll explore rules 10 through 12 next video. I do recommend printing out the rule sheet as a reference guide. It is not necessary to memorize the rule numbers or the names.